So in this video we'll be showing the Dark Iron Dwarfs animations on the Alpha. So first off I'm going to do the casters and also show off the new totems for the Dark Iron Dwarfs. So first I'm going to go through their racial as well. So currently the racial's Fireblood removes all poison, disease, curse, magic and bleed effects and increase your primary stat by 231. An additional 77 for each effect removed. So as you can see. That's what it looks like currently. The animation's been added. Next is Mole Machine. While outdoors, um, summon a Mole Machine that tunnels through the earth. I don't think it's been added in yet, but let's just see if it works. Yeah, so it, I think it might be a small teleport. I'm not sure. I don't think it'll take you further places. Next, Dungeon Delver. While indoors, move 4% faster. Uh, forged in Flames. Re reduce damage taken from physical attacks by 1%. And Mass reduce production increases blacksmithing skill by 5 and blacksmithing speed by 25 percent so I'll quickly show you the animations now so it doesn't seem there's that much different from the dwarfs at the moment just yet yeah, all looks pretty much the same like it has with the other allied races nothing different to the animations but let's quickly look at the totems as you can see they look really really good with the Iron Forge effect, and each of them have their own colours. Like it's really, it looks really, really cool. I'll look for the other totem, so I'll put a different one down. So that one looks like so that's green. Put down a few others. See if there's any difference. Earth Binding totem. So that one's green as well. And yeah, that seems to be it for the casters. Nothing too different. But yeah, the totems are new and fresh. So I'll go into the melees one after and show the uh, worries and see if there's any change in their animations. So in this clip I'll be showing the cast animations for Dark Iron Dwarfs quickly. As you can see there's no real difference, just roundabouts the same. Just quickly cast and move with Surrender. So nothing too different, all the same. Just quickly show a few of the heals, buffs. So yeah, nothing too different. So all pretty much the same. Let's see what void form looks like with the fireblood racial up. As you can see it looks really, really good. With that animation. So yeah, that's it for the caster, I'll now go on to the melee, quickly show up. So I'll quickly show the melee animations for the Dark Iron Dwarfs. So no real change to the melee, I'll see if anything's different when I put Fireblood. Fireblood, as you can see, increases, let's see if anything's changed with the buffs. Blade Storm. Yeah, as you can see, pretty much all the same. I'll now go into the hunter and look at the bow animation, see if anything's different. For the dark iron dwarves. As you can as you heard just then that the sound is also different. If you hear too far away. Let's see what it says when I can't do that yet. So now I'll go into the hunters quickly. So I'll quickly show off the bow animations for the dark iron dwarves. See if anything's different. Doesn't seem anything yet. Showing sure off the new MM skills. Aim shot. So yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything different currently. I'll pop the racial so we can see if anything changes there. Use the racial. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be any, any changes. I'm going to quickly just show off the um, dungeon delver quickly. So if I run inside, you can see my speed will increase. As you can see here, and I'll go inside, and my speed will increase. Compared to other characters, you'll notice, but obviously when I'm just standing on my own, you won't notice. But, you know, in long races, the, the dark arm will win. As you can see, there's a little bug on here. You can see my quiver on the floor for some reason. 
just noticed that now. But yeah, that's it for the Dark Iron Dwarfs.